Hello, we are here with Dr. Habiba Muhammad Chabuni. She is a professor of medical genetics at Tunis University. She has studied uh, medical counseling services um, and she will tell us about those. So I, I started the genetic counseling from very long time. I started in 1980, um, developed genetic counseling in the country uh, and I um, succeeded in 1993 to uh, implement a specific clinical department in the hospital which named uh, Department of Hereditary and Congenital Disorders. Um, okay, so can you tell us about your area of work now? Um, I'm uh, working on human genetics, of course, genetic disorders, uh, chromosomal disorders. Uh, and uh, you know that uh, in our country, we have a high rate of consanguinity. And so we have of consanguinity. It's about uh, between 20 and 30 percent. Actually, it was higher in past. It was higher than 30 percent. And of course, when there is consanguinity, uh, there is a high uh, rate of uh, uh, recessive uh, disorders, especially autosomal recessive disorders. So I worked on a lot of diseases, uh, including uh, Mediterranean fever, for example, familial Mediterranean fever. I worked a lot of, on um, ambiguous genitalia, on thalassemia, on um, uh, muscular disorders, on mental retardation, intellectual disability, especially, and a little bit on uh, genetic of cancer too in uh, last years. Okay, so. But uh, I didn't work only on genes, I worked on chromos chromosomes, and uh, I implemented, for example, prenatal diagnosis of uh, uh, chromosomal disorders. Uh, very, very, uh, I mean, maybe uh, 30 years ago, uh, I started this in, in, in Tunisia. And then uh, after uh, perinatal diagnosis of chromosomal disorders, I moved to uh, gene disorders. Do you hear me? I can hear you. Can I interrupt to ask a couple of questions? Um, yes. About congenuity. If I say consanguinity. Consanguinity. Um, what's that? And probably it's easier uh, to uh, to know uh, the uh, family members than, than others. Did they realize that these genetic anomalies were because of con consanguinity? Consanguinity. Yes. <laughs> It's, 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 it's well known now that consanguinity uh, is at the origin of uh, some genetic disorders, especially recessive ones. Um, so it's, it's common, we know. And of course, uh, the aim of the genetic counseling was to first to diagnose, to, to make uh, the good diagnosis of uh, genetic disorders, and second, to give genetic counseling for these families to explain to them uh, the uh, importance of uh, uh, consanguinity that could be at the origin of uh, uh, children with uh, um, chronic disease disorders and handicap, etc. And the families were receptive to this. They were willing. Yes. To yes, I, I think I think that actually it's uh, it's uh, really. Um, less uh, prevalent uh, in, in the population. And uh, second, uh, you know, with uh, edu female education, uh, many families uh, had a, gave the opportunity to their uh, daughters to, uh, to meet other uh, 
uh, men outside the family. Mm -hmm. So they can marry with, uh, with members of outside the, the, the family. Okay. And your counseling service helped bring this awareness? Yes, yes. You know, I visited uh, the whole country you 20, no, more, more, more than, than 20 years ago to explain. You, to the, you personally traveled? Yes, we, yes, I traveled, traveled uh, in all parts of my country to explain to population and to physicians, uh, primary care physicians, to explain to them uh, the, uh, what the consequences of consanguinity and how to do to, um, to decrease this tradition. And uh, of course, it was based on scientific uh, arguments and, uh, and uh, how the diseases can be very, very uh, severe in such cases. And nobody can debate scientific arguments. <laughs> Which is Excuse me? Nobody can debate scientific arguments. Yes. Yeah, exactly. This is, exactly. This is the <laughs> you cannot say anything. This is what I love yes. about science. Not <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Uh, black and white in some cases. Um, okay. Yeah. So, um, and you were saying about it's it's a chromosomal disease. Yes. Um, so many diseases like that, like for example, Down syndrome. It's one, one, one example, but there are a Down lot, a lot of syndrome is what? Um, gum syndrome. What is gum syndrome? Down, Down syndrome. Ah, Down syndrome. Yeah. Right. Down syndrome. It's okay. it's uh, it's common. Yes, everyone knows what means Down syndrome. It's, it, yeah. Are all these that we're talking about related to consanguinity or uh, no, 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 that is that is very interesting for me because in the same time I worked on diseases um, that are the consequence of consanguinity, but in the same time I worked on diseases that are not related to consanguinity, like for example, a chromosomal uh, abnormalities. There is no relation between this kind of diseases, of abnormalities, and consanguinity, hmm. you know? So consanguinity is something that can be prevented. Uh, yes. Are all the diseases that you study not all able to be prevented? Some just happen uh, on their own. Yes, but actually we can, yes, we can prevent chromosomal disorders by prenatal uh, diagnosis or even um, non-invasive predicting uh, chromosomal abnormalities uh, for the uh, pregnancy, for the fet fet fetus, for the baby. But you can't fix it. You can just diagnose it and have an abortion. Yes, yes, exactly. There's no, There's no treatment. Um, no, unfortunately, not. Is that have now there is point? not but but maybe maybe one day we'll uh, we'll do this with the, the development of different uh, molecular techniques and the technology and the crispr cas9 and etc a lot of methods that can be used to uh, repair uh, genetic disorders and chromosomal disorders maybe one day yes okay epidemiology of different uh, diseases to uh, to have um, better information about uh, the genome of our population and to compare with other Mediterranean uh, countries, for example, uh, even uh, with European or African uh, countries or Middle East, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, to study the epidemiology, that is very important to study epidemiology of those diseases, so we can prevent, in fact, those diseases. Uh, and some of them are uh, today treatable. We can treat some, some of them.
hmm. uh, some genetic disorders, yes, especially oh. metabolic disorders okay. like uh, P like PKU, like um, thalassemia, like uh, you know sickle cell disease, uh, like uh, FMF, familial Mediterranean, Mediterranean oh, fever. We can we can we can treat these diseases. Hmm. It's possible to, to put blood every so often. Now, yes, yes. So that now that's finished, yes. you can get better. You won't need it. Yes, uh, actually, uh, I'm not actually working on thalassemia today, but there are new techniques and even the possibility of um, um, transplant. Transplantation of uh, bone, bone trans trans transplantation. Yeah. Uh, and that's related to um, curing thalassemia if you transplant bone. Yes, yes. Oh, wow. Oh. Okay. And so <clears throat> in Cyprus, before people get married, they have this test about the stigma. Is that what you call it? Yes, yes, yes. So the, the screening, there is a screening. And do you know that when I gave my lectures to the students, I gave always the example of Cyprus. It's only for, for uh, <laughs> no, no, it, it is it is the better example. It's not only in Cyprus, but first you, you were the first to do this. Ah. And uh, as the population in Cyprus is small, so it was easy, easier to, uh, to apply yeah. the, uh, the, the program. And uh, you succeeded really to uh, prevent, to, uh, in, to decrease, yeah, to decrease. Uh, dramatically yeah. the number of uh, thalassemia in, in your country. But of, of, uh, of course, there are other examples in, in Italy, in, uh, in other, other places. Mm -hmm. for, uh, for screening, it's about screening of thalassemia, the trait, trait thal thal thalassemia. Well, if we have a cure now, we uh, mm -hmm. don't need to worry anymore and prevent people in love from getting married. Yes. <laughs> I'll go tell my friends who might be worried. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I think it's uh, it's the, the main uh, the main work I uh, I I did, and uh, of course I worked on uh, genetic of cancer too, uh, to and and uh, genetic of. Uh, different rare disorders. I mean, uh, intellectual disability associated to uh, blindness, for example, or uh, syndromic uh, uh, cases. Uh, and of course, with my team, we just discovered uh, some genes uh, and uh, some mutations, uh, etc. There's uh, there was a, a lot of work on uh, uh, studying uh, genetic disorders and especially rare disorders in, in, in the country. So you understand exactly where the mistake has happened in the chromosomes to bring about this disorder? Yes. Yeah, in the chromosomes or even in the gene. Because the we, we use the gene and the chromosome. It's, it's, it's totally different from the um, tools used for studying chromosomes and, uh, and genes. Uh, because chromosome is uh, more is larger than a gene, which is um, just a, a point in the, uh, in the chromosome, just a very, very small place in, in, ah. in the chromosome. So that's we we make difference between um, chromosomal disorders and gene gene disorders molecular disorders when we say genetic disorder it can be either of this group that you mentioned yes okay. yes yes and genetic disorder disorders 
uh, that means genes disorders plus chromosomal disorders plus plus interaction between genes and environment ah yeah so that can bring yeah. other disorder yeah it can bring other disorders yes Could that be the fetus the environment in the womb or is this after the baby is born? it could be uh, it could be during embryogenesis during the development of the embryo and the fetus it could be the environment of the maternal um, environment and it could be after uh, after birth i mean in infants or children and especially in adults now, because you know that when we, uh, when there are two twins, homozygous twins, uh, in the starting of their life, uh, they have the same pattern of epigenomes. Uh, epigenome that means the modification of what is around the genome around the genes, not the structure of the gene itself. It's around the gene, I mean, proteins, etc. And after some years of doing their life, uh, we, the pattern will, will be different between uh, the, uh, the pair of, of uh, twins, you know, they have different patterns of their epigenome. That means the environment has an impact on our genes. But Do you like I repeat? No, that I, means, I understand. Yes, I understand. I just have a question. The epigene, epigenome? Yeah, epigenetics <laughs> and epigenome. The epigenome. We, we, we say genome for genome for the uh, the whole genes okay. and chromosomes, of course, mm -hmm. and epigenome that is the modification of what is around the, the 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 gene, not the structure of the gene. It's different. Uh, does that affect a person's um, DNA, their genetics? Yes, it's it 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 affects the functioning, the function um, of the gene, not the structure of the gene, yes. but the function. For example, some some drugs have effect on expression of the gene. Uh, some food have impact on the uh, function of the gene, etc. Of the epigenome. Yes, that 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 we, we call that epig epigenome. Yes, so the epigenome helps the gene function properly. Uh, epigenome that means uh, there is a, a control of the of the uh, genome, which is under uh, eff effects of the environment. Yes. Okay, so if, if it stops functioning properly, what problems could come from it? Oh, for example, cancer, because it's, uh, there's a, 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 an, an abnormal functioning of the genes, so the, uh, the cell will be, uh, will, will be abnormal and it could uh, give uh, consequences of uh, high multiplications of, of cells and give, of course, uh, for example, cancer. Mm -hmm. But not only cancer, it could be neurological disorder, it could be a, a skin disorder. There are a lot of uh, disorders that are due, that are related to uh, abnormal epigenome abnormal functioning of the gene because of interaction of the environment on the gene. So to keep our epigenome healthy uh, and not develop these uh, disorders, diseases, 
we, mm. we follow the health guidelines. Don't smoke, um, be in a exactly. non polluted exactly. environment, eat your uh, fruit and vegetables, yeah. exercise. We, we know these. Yes. Yes. Now this we is, put science yes. to the um, to the reason why. Everywhere. <laughs> everywhere science. Yes. 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 Everywhere. We put science everywhere. Everywhere. It should be everywhere. Everywhere. It should it's be everywhere. everywhere. Yes. Um, yes. This is why we're doing this, so people can understand. If you don't understand why you should eat your fruit see the reason in detail what happens if you don't then you will be convinced if it's yeah. just you know a general guideline then you can dismiss it easily and say yeah it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> but then you say no this will happen <laughs> well, yeah. what did we say the scientific evidence more about your work um i i think i okay. yes of course in, in the same time I, I did. Uh, I I carried out uh, several projects, uh, uh, research projects, uh, national, uh, international, mid, uh, Euro Mediterranean uh, projects uh, with uh, uh, European Genetic Foundation, for example, for for six years. Uh, I had a very very interesting. Uh, uh, common um, collaboration with the EGF and uh, with other labs in Europe and States, uh, etc. Mm -hmm. uh, what else? Uh, I was a physician. I am a physician, and uh, I uh, even for education, for example, I implemented a master degree in research genetics in the Faculty of Medicine. It was the first time in the country that a, a such master uh, is, um, is, is uh, given, exists in the faculty of medicine because it is known uh, in uh, uh, scientific faculties, institutions. But in faculty de medicine, it was the first time. And then after the master degree, I uh, implemented a PhD degree also in the Faculty of Medicine, and we worked a lot with other institutions, Faculty de Sciences, for example, in the uh, in the in the country. Uh, I think that uh, it was very very important to develop uh, genetics, genetics research in human and medical field in in the country, uh, because it's not only um, 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 for scientists that works on, uh, on my, uh, in microbiology or animals, etc. It's important to apply all uh, what is discovered in genetics to humans and to patients and to develop medical genetics. That was one of my, uh, and it was very important for me to develop local research mm. because you know it's it's easy to take uh, samples and to go out uh, um, abroad in uh, Europe or in states to uh, to make uh, studies and to have very interesting results, but it was very important for me to develop this inside in my country locally mm. and uh, hopefully we had uh, uh, opportunity with uh, our government to develop research and to uh, to put um, the um, uh, legislation of this uh, of, of research in, in Tunisia and uh, there are Today, a lot of uh, uh, labs, research labs, and uh, uh, research centers uh, in different fields, and even technology hubs in, uh, for scientific research in different uh, fields, uh, biology, IT, etc. So would you say 
the investment in research in your country is satisfactory or not it's uh, uh, it's 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 not bad it's 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 not very it's not so good we can do better mm -hmm. of course mm -hmm. but uh, there is uh, effort there are efforts okay. to to do to do better and today there are different directorates of uh, of uh, research in, for example, there is one important in the Ministry of Higher Education, Directorate of uh, Research, Scientific Research in, um, in um, the Ministry of Higher Education. And there are uh, different institutions too. For example, uh, La NPR, um, that means um, an institution uh, uh, which, uh, who, which mission is to improve, to develop research in the country. Mm -hmm. And the third uh, positive advantage that is actually they are, they are starting to make connection between the uh, and in industry and um, private uh, institutions and uh, public research that is very important because it could it could be a, a opportunity for young people to develop their research and to apply their research in uh, in um, industry, in industry industry and uh, other fits. It should be le illegal to work outside of science. <laughs> we are praising ourselves here. Um, science outside of scientific um, approval. Shouldn't it be illegal? Mm -hmm. um, yes, uh, it, it, it should be legal or illegal. Illegal. Ill. Do you say it? it should. It shouldn't, it shouldn't be allowed. No, it's not. It, I mean, yes, it, that pollute it, the it environment is, that today should not be allowed. Uh, to to make uh, to make connection between science and industry, uh, industry and uh, private. Uh, what uh, uh, not institution uh, companies mm -hmm. yeah is is allowed it's allowed it's not uh, illegal it's allowed now but it's still a uh, beginning it's still in the beginning it's still starting it is starting it's true it's true it's just that mm -hmm. we need to accelerate if we are to yes have exactly. Hope exactly for saving what's happening yeah 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 exactly okay um I think, what do you think about the idea of bringing Mediterranean countries together through science? You know, I have experience. So I have experience with the Euro Mediterranean uh, projects on, in genetics, and it was a good uh, experience for, for me. I think it's important, uh, first of all, because in genetics, we have a common heritage. All people, all population, they share their genome. That, I mean, when, when there is uh, uh, interesting results in France, or in Italy, or in Cyprus, or in Tunisia, uh, when there are interesting results, it could be uh, uh, important for every researcher every, in every place in the world. But since we share this, the same genome, so every little small result applies everywhere. Will be, applies will be, yes, and will be helpful helpful for researchers in any place uh, in, in the world. Uh, this is for genetics. Second, uh, um, in the Mediterranean region, 
there are um, very, uh, we share a lot of things between people, between population, and we share the same environment too. Uh, do you hear me? Yes, I can. I, I think can. it's. Um, I am. Can you hear me? Okay. Okay. Right. Yes. Now I hear you. Okay. Uh, so we we share the environment, we share the genes, and we have the Mediterranean Sea that we that we should protect, and uh, as we should protect the the people. Um, around this, uh, the, around the sea, and uh, I think that there is um, a very, very rich culture in the region, and uh, we can do a lot of things together mm -hmm. uh, outside outside politics, for yes. sure. But in science, in science, I think that we can do a lot, a lot of. Uh, a lot of work together uh, regarding uh, all fields, uh, the um, communication, the ITs, uh, the medical field, uh, uh, the um, maritime, I mean the sea, what is related to, 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 uh, to the sea. It's very important to, to work together to enhance uh, the quality of life and to prevent uh, cat catastrophe, I don't know, yes. catastrophe in, in English. And in <laughs> catastrophe, which was- Yes, that was the uh, and, and to protect the, uh, the, uh, the region and of course the planet, yes. if, if, if we can. Do Mediterranean mm -hmm. people share common genes? Yes. Oh, sure. Sure, because we have common genes. I, I, I mean, I mean, when, when I say common genes, I mean common patterns of genes, common uh, structures of genes. Of course, genes are the same in humankind, but, but we have specificities. Uh, there, there are specificities in different populations. And we have some common specificities in the Mediterranean, Mediterranean population. And uh, uh, of course, we can, we can uh, understand this because there was a huge communication between people uh, living around uh, the Mediterranean Sea from many, many, many years ago. Uh, it's not. It's not recent. It's uh, mm. the, uh, the the civilizations of uh, Carthage, Rome, uh, Greek, etc. So there is uh, a lot of uh, moving people. They moved uh, um, through the Medi Mediterranean Sea and between, especially North Africa, South Europe and the other parts of Mediterranean Sea, hmm. Middle East, etc. And since they have this common area, is this what yeah. you said before about the environment affecting the epigenome? Yes. So yes. that's why we yes. have common yeah. um, characters. That's, that's why I think uh, genetics is as important as epigenetics. And with epigenetics, it's easier to correct, to treat than for genetic disorders, mm -hmm. for, for example. Yes, mm -hmm. all right. Okay, so thank you very much for the work you're doing. Congratulations on being chosen as a member of the Mediterranean. Thank you. Team. Just I'd like to tell you that I was a member of the team who uh, put in who put it in place the Universal Declaration on Human Genomes and Human Rights? Uh, 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 it's, it's in my mind that everything uh, is shared between the humankind 
um, that we can do a lot together. <laughs>